only this time at Comerica Park. Aha. We pick this one up in the second on a home run. Did they just catch that while holding a child? One-handed grab? Nicely done. And there's a walk. This ejection concerns balk no calls. It's Rocco Baldelli who recently found an affinity for getting ejected early. Maybe has some family or friends visiting, more important than managing a big league ball club. But today, it's the second inning regarding this pitcher's set position. And a strikeout. And there's a... With the new batter now, we're watching for the pitcher's cadence in set. Remember, you have to come to a stop before you throw home. Did this pitcher stop or not? Take a look right here. Baldelli complains Wentz isn't coming to the complete stop. It should be a balk. The precise thing Baldelli is talking about is Wentz has a high set. He holds his hand together in an elevated position in front of his body. That's legal, but Baldelli wants a balk called because Wentz is sliding down. It's heavy before starting the full motion home. We're going to take a look right here. On the first one, Barrett says, what do you want? He's coming set. And here we go again on the very next pitch. Two and one. No it's no cold. More, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to yell the dog out the entire game. No more. Quick poll. Rocco has been told no more. What's he going to do? No more or more? Being admonished for something, and I can't imagine what it would be. Well, I think they. Well. Barrett has had enough, and after this pitch goes straight to warn Baldelli to stop. Baldelli goes to get the last word in, and as we say, runs the stop sign. The ticket for that is a get out of this game free card. There might be a fine, actually. No more, and he kept on, and now he'll get his money's worth. A couple minutes ago, Jace Tingler actually came down to the far side of the dugout and yelled towards the first base umpire to keep an eye on, saying, hey, he can't. So Baldelli's arguing the Bach rule, no stop Bach. But the thing about that is the stop doesn't necessarily have to occur when you as the offense thinks it does. The stop Baldelli is talking about may not be the one that the umpires are talking about. Balks are like balls and strikes. Managers can't argue them. So here's the discrepancy. Is that the pitcher coming set? The pitcher was stopped there for a while, we think. But then you notice that little dip? That's what Baldelli wants a balk, either as a failure to stop entirely or potentially as a start-stop balk. The umpires, of course, are saying that's a legal move because guess what? If that little dip is part of the, the pitcher's habitual pitching motion, then that is a legal delivery. So Alfonso Marquez comes down and you notice that little head bob, walk with me. Same thing we saw in the last ejection video, right? With Eddings and Martinez, get them to the dugout. That's how they can leave the field. You can get the game moving again. Well, it's, uh, the Bach rule is, is definitely somewhat arbitrary depending on how umpires are feeling really. Marquez is telling him, I'm watching how he's up and comes down. So I saw, I'm watching, I have that. And really it's a perfect storm because it's easiest to see this for a lefty when you're in the first base dugout and guess where the twins are located. Is when you come set, you can't move. You have to come to a, a distinct and discernible stop. But wait, there's more. White against Michael Taylor, who is 0 for 2. Top the sixth inning where the strike zone box has decided not to work anymore. Roger is able to catch it behind it. How do you catch a ball like that, huh? Some great catches in this game. First we had the fan one-handed with the kid, and now we have the catcher behind the back. Good coordination. And also, welcome back to the strike zone box. Oh. Taylor went too far. It's even. Call on them. You're just in time. Let's win this game. Just missed low. On the inside rail to get Taylor looking, and he doesn't like it. Played up fire. Lance Barrett has already ejected one twin, make it a second. And Michael can't let that happen. So that pitch was in that buffer zone and within an inch of the zero edge system. Taylor gets tossed, says something with an F in it. Tingler comes out, asks what happened. Barrett tells him, and he's satisfied, just walks back to the dugout. But while doing so, someone behind him in the dugout gets tossed. Tingler doesn't seem to care, though. Derek Shulman just got tossed, too. Excuse me. Who? Twins assistant hitting coach. Oh, thanks. So three twins uniform personnel have been ejected. 